Luca just got skinny and NBA's terrified. Luca! Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp? What are they doing here? He said, I took three weeks off and I relaxed a little bit. Did he ever? This is bad. <laughs> it's just bad. Luca, you are a professional athlete. Look at Luca's face. He's got a fat face. Yes. Is that not a fat <laughs> face? Yeah. He's fat. Yeah. He's got big old jowls. Yeah. Skip I, Bayless I, just I roasting you for no yeah. reason. He's 20, 30 pounds. Still drop you off, Skip Bayless, so shut up. Flat out embarrassing for a professional. A guy that's making that kind of money yep. that you don't care enough to train in the offseason. It's like a float in the Thanksgiving day for It does. Right? Skip, this is embarrassing. I'm like, damn. Whew. Somebody ate Luca. He's been a pro since he was 16. Somebody. You are what you, you ate eat, somebody. And if you eat so badly, you cannot own <laughs> Hey, Photoshop this face. Basketball player to watch of all time. He makes shots that look impossible. Hey, Photoshop this face. Faces while making those shots. I'm a fat man. And the perception of him is that he is chubby. We just heard the fat shame video. Luca's weight up until this point has not slowed him down. Goran Dragic actually believes that the way Luca looks drives American NBA players are crazy the reason being they simply because he's slow ask how are you possibly he doesn't have any handles and he still you gets passed a 30 point triple double in your second season how do you average 36 points and 10 assists against a historically hyped up defensive duo in paul george and Kawhi leonard in your third season how do you possibly shut the door on chris paul's legacy while coming back from a three to two series deficit against so i'm saying how did luca not go number one overall top seeded team in the western conference the phoenix Sons. Well, the only answer is Luka Doncic is not only elite, but to me, I have no problem saying that Luka Doncic is the next in line. We had Kobe, LeBron, and now the next to take on the ghost of Michael Jordan is Luka. Luka! So what's up, guys? Mike here. That's how Mark Jesus Cuban says his name. Luka! Something that has only been accomplished three times ever in a player's first nine games. It was first done in 1970 by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar while he was still going by Lou Alcindor. It was then done in 1987 by Michael. He Jeff had hair and a beard. Then in Kareem Abdul-Jabbar by Luca. Some pretty eye popping. Thought he was always bald. On in this year's playoffs, Luca became tied for the third fastest player to record at least 700 Will. points in his first playoff games. This time, only trailing Michael Jordan and Wilt Chamberlain. It is very, very clear that a young Luka Doncic has thrown. But it doesn't count. He's playing pro ball since he was 16, so it don't count. To ever play. And yes, you have now heard Michael Jordan's name a lot with Luka Doncic. Personally, I believe in terms of guys that have a chance to pass Michael Jordan as the greatest basketball player to ever live. Luka is really just next in line. But I also We're want to make it signed very, by Jordan. very clear. Before we get into this conversation, Michael Jordan is my goat. I'm a Chicago Bulls fan. I love Luka because I see Jordan in him. I see the trash talking. I see the competitive fire. I see the obsession. I see the need to work. Mike, so were you I even old enough to watch Jordan. Michael Jordan Video play? certainly not at all meant to disrespect Michael Jordan, but we have to be fair. And Luka Doncic, he deserves the respect. The man has earned it. But before we continue, guys, I want to give a huge shout out to a huge friend of this channel, Seeking for sponsoring today's video. I have, of course, worked with SeatGeek for a long time, and I'm so happy to be working with them again. I mean, guys, I think we all can still feel it. Live events are still finally back. They're happening, actually, right now. Whether it's a sport, team, concert, or artist. Tiger community, Woods. Our friends at SeatGeek have all Tiger Woods plan? have you covered. SeatGeek pulls tickets from all over the web to make buying simple. SeatGeek also cool. rates tickets on a scale from 0 to 10, so you can be sure you're getting a great deal. Green means good, red means bad, and personally, I use this feature all of the time. I'm always heading for the green. I'll be honest. I will just say lately, I've gotten into baseball. I am now a Mets fan, as well as the St. John's fan. I'm repping Queens. So personally, I've been using SeatGeek to also bond with my fiance at Mets games it was incredible and using SeatGeek the way SeatGeek was designed was to be simple for you while also getting you the best Dang, deal possible. that's expensive I mean, who doesn't want the best deal I want the best $500 deal. And dollars each SeatGeek has the best deal for you because right now if you use the promo code what kind of baseball right, game is this this ain't the world, world series baby it is that simple $20 off all you have to do is enter the promo code 2k Mike go click the link in the description make sure you use my promo code at 2k Mike and get $20 off your first order after downloading SeatGeek guys personally I use SeatGeek all the time and they are also the absolute best they are 
of the biggest friends of this channel. And so make sure to use the promo code 2 Mike. And for now, let's get back into the video. Before he made it to the NBA, Michael Jordan won an NCAA championship with North Carolina. He had an iconic shot there. And he was What's also a Tar Heel? Gold medal winner. Before Luka Doncic made it to the Aren't those the people that work on the street? MVP and champion to make the, the, um, the yellow lines and the, um, in the ground black? World. Different paths for sure, but also both Mike and Luka had tremendous, tremendous success at a young age. Actually, I will say this type of success puts Luka in a rarefied air, one of a kind type success air. When Michael Jordan was leading his group of college stars with well, Bob this? Knight Dude, not even coach, looking at the camera. The to the gold medal, Coach Knight was so- Bro, look at this dude. This dude's not even looking at the camera. You see where my clicker is at? Star. What are you looking Bob at? Knight as their coach. On the way to the gold medal, Coach Knight was so impressed that he called the Blazers and yelled at their general manager creepy. to take Mike, only to be told, we need a center. To which Knight replied, so play him at center. Players who are this good do not come around often. I'd say the last the time you've seen one who was the handshake is this that? good seriously was LeBron James. Because the thing is, looking at fingers. Been doing this. Just hey, as LeBron KFC. Was a high school sensation, Luka Doncic was destroying everyone in his path before the Euro League. Watch yep. here as in this under 13 tournament in Italy, a young Luka cooks everyone. Then he went pro the next day. A yep. 54 point triple double. He has yep. been this guy forever. I then he went pro the next day. Luka did grow up in the United States. He would already be anointed as the next Michael Jordan or LeBron James or someone close to that because that's what we usually love to do. We love to throw people into the GOAT conversation. Instead though with Luka, there has been some clear hesitancy. There was a ton of pressure on a young Kobe Bryant and a young LeBron James to become the next Michael Jordan because that is what the media said they would become. Only at the end of the day. Who even cares? All that is manufactured anyway. What really matters is how good I know Kobe was born in high school. I thought he had an afro. On the court success, in terms of on the court results, Luca has been just as good as anyone. You can't say anything to him, though. He was a star year. basketball player. I do want to shout out right now in terms Timmy of D. success. Tim Duncan comes to mind. He did have David Robinson, but he was the my favorite power forward of all time. Also, Magic Johnson, of course, but Magic also had Kareem. For young stars who are not immediately put into a great system or who are not. He's another star with them. Kristen Wood, not enough. Like Michael Jordan, guys like LeBron James, guys like Luca. Things are a lot more difficult early on. But in terms of playoff success, four players ever have averaged at least 32 points and nine rebounds per game in their first four seasons in the league. Those guys are Elgin Baylor, not Luca, McAdoo, Wilt Chamberlain, and Luca. What? In 30? Same Since when did Luca average 30? He ain't average no 30. He averaged about like 29, 28, now 30. 32.5? Are you crazy? Seasons. Only two players have averaged at least 30 points and Oh, playoff games. Oh, playoffs. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, yeah, playoffs. Yeah, I'm gonna say season. Those two guys are Oscar Robertson and Luka. So when comparing a young... Dude, it's too Luka fat to average 30 in the regular season. I have season. no problem saying that on paper right here, Luka does pull ahead. Statistically, in terms of on-the-court success, in those first 28 games, Luka led his team to the Western Conference Finals while Michael Jordan, it took him actually longer. Mike hit his 28th game played of the playoffs on the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. And it also took Mike 70 games to win his first title. So Lucas still has 42 to go. I think it's that simple. But again, I will emphasize, finding individual success as a young player, as a young star, like Luca, like a young LeBron, like a young Michael Jordan. Again, if you do not have a great system in place early or great teammates to join early, your team better start moving fast. Luca reminds me of Ginobili. Like Luka and LeBron are like so a more rare that like skilled Ginobili. Too many games. There is no time to get more big time draft picks. Even Kevin Durant ended up getting Russell Westbrook and James Harden on his team. In Luca's second season, he was in the playoffs battling the Clippers. He took him to seven. He took him to seven. Nine He's about to first round exit the Clippers with Paul George and Kawhi Leonard that was playing. His second season in that series, he also did this. Doncic pulls That's up. That's his first Porter. playoff series, Bang! not his second. Bang! It's good. Doncic wins the game at the buzzer. In fact, I'd say no noise. Starting to collect these moments. They don't have any like fans. They're trash. In our brain. Remember. <laughs> He did this after the Mavericks lost. They were acting tough when they up. To the top seeded Suns and Luka, Luka says that is over. Where's Lucky? I know he's around here somewhere. Sponsored by Lucky Charms, Mike or Zimple? With your rainbow sparkles, I can see in the dark. Sponsored by Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms with new magic gems. They're magically delicious. Them. And look at how he did it. I mean, how do you guard this man? 27 point lead down goes Johnson. Why isn't Mikael Bridges on him? Deep 
He can't play. He ain't get drafted to play defense. He got drafted to shoot threes. Absolutely putting on a show here. This was ugly. This was ugly. And they got swept by the Warriors. And so to wrap this up, I will say before the shot, before this moment. So they weren't supposed to be there, but they were there. comfortable we came in we stuck tough we hung right in there gave ourselves a chance to win and we won the ball game this was called the shot but it could have been called the disaster if this shot does not go in we might have really had a disaster when it got traded hands. michael yep. jordan before this had won exactly one playoff series this was his fifth season because this shot did go in the bulls would make the 1989 eastern conference finals and from there they would lose again in the 1990 eastern conference finals before then winning six of the next eight championships to say that confidence was not born from that first eastern conference finals run would just be incorrect every single person on that team has talked about that confidence. Luka is fresh off a Western Conference Finals run, and he is now skinny and looking more in shape than ever before. So what the NBA is scared, and they should be, because Luka Doncic is coming. There we have it, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Man, I love talking about Luka. Ain't I was no saying, championship. out of every non-bull, my two favorite players Let's are you get Luka some Doncic. More players on the team. Just more star players. Wondering, if you could subscribe and turn on post notifications, that would be awesome. If you want to watch more NBA videos like this, if you're already subscribed, thank you so so much for supporting you're awesome we all know it and as always have an awesome day guys and cue that music if you're